Now turning to sports, and the capital is gearing up for the fifth International Jerusalem Marathon, with more than 25,000 runners slated to sprint across the starting line tomorrow morning. The 42-kilometer race snakes through the city and is expected to largely paralyze many sections of town where streets will be closed to traffic. IBA's Aria O'Sullivan brings us this look at preparations for the event. It's a major operation in the city, which has been decked out in flags and police barricades, ready for the opening of the grueling Jerusalem Marathon at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Gan Saker has been turned into the main compound where runners will prepare for the start. The marathon winds through the streets of Jerusalem, passing some of the 3,000-year-old city's most iconic sites, including inside the old walled city. Jerusalem mayor Nir Barkat, who is also running the half marathon, says the race in this city is breathtaking, not just for the views, but also because of its notorious steep hills. It's daunting for some of the even most veteran runners. Yeah, we're a little bit uh, intimidated by the hills. Um, everybody tells us that it's very, very hilly, but uh, we're willing it to give it a try. It could be a nicer nice city in all the world to be running. How many marathons have you run? Um, we've done a number over the years. We've done lots of marathons, lots of half marathons, and we've never done Jerusalem before. So, yeah. First time, and hopefully we'll be back often. There are some 2,200 participants who came from over 60 countries to run. I already spent several days in your country, so I'm, it, everything is so stunning. So, so I'm not scared at all. How many marathons have you done? Uh, this one could be my second one. Well, you know, are you scared about running in Jerusalem? I am, because it's very hilly. and <laughs> I'm used to flat, flat running. Have you been training for this? Not at all. It's been minus 20 degrees at home for the last month, so I haven't run outside. So. so you must be excited. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Jerusalem officials see the event as a major tourist endeavor that will hopefully fill the hotel rooms and inject over 10 million shekels into the city's economy while placing the city of gold on the world's map of marathons. The country is caught up in election fever, and in just a few days, Israelis will go to the polls to vote. But here in Jerusalem, they're in the midst of preparations for the fifth annual international marathon. It'll cause havoc, the schools will be shut, there'll be heavy traffic, but if all goes according to plan, some 25,000 runners, including 2,000 from abroad, will be trotting through the streets of the capital. I'll be there too. Tune in tomorrow to find out if I make it to the finish line. Ari O'Sullivan for IBA News. Break a leg, Ari, eh? or maybe not. Good luck. In the meantime, taking a look at local finance, and the shekel today gained strength against all major foreign currencies and shekels.